through 12 Cheshire County Candidates Forum. My name is Kimberly McCullough, and um, I will be moderating the event today. So the format will go as follows. First will up will be Larry Phillips, who's running for State Representative um, Cheshire 5. He will have 10 minutes total with a two-minute opening statement, eight-minute Q&A, um, with questions from the moderator and audience with a 90-second response. Next, we'll have Hardy Mesha, who's running for U.S. Congress uh, 2. He'll have 15 minutes, a two-minute opening statement, 13-minute Q&A questions from the moderator and audience with a 90-second response. Then we'll have John Babiars, who's running for governor. He'll get 15 minutes as well with a two-minute opening statement, 13-minute Q&A questions from the moderator and audience with a 90-second response. Then we will have Daryl W. Perry, who's running for Register of Deeds. He will have uh, 10 minutes as well, and that will be a two-minute opening statement, eight-minute Q&A with the questions from the moderator and audience with a 90-second response. The second portion of the event will be um, debates between um, Keith Carlson and Tim Robertson, who are both running for State Representative Cheshire 6, and Ian Freeman and Chuck Weed, who are running for State Representative Ch Cheshire 16. And that will, uh, <laughs> excuse me, I've never done this before. <laughs> Thank you. And that format will run, uh, there'll be 25 minute debates and they'll have four parts. So each candidate, the first part, each candidate will have 90 seconds to make an opening statement. Then there will be an eight minute Q&A with questions from the moderator. Then there'll be rapid fire questions from the audience. And uh, the first, so the first candidate gets, how's it, okay. <laughs> The rapid fire is going to go. Um, the first candidate will go 60 seconds response. Is that right? The first, and then the second will get a rebuttal, and will go, and then the, then there'll be a rebut afterwards. Okay. And then each candidate also gets a 60 second closing. All right. There are sample ballots and straw polls in the back of the room, and also on the outside of the room are campaign materials for those of you who um, brought some and those of you who just got here. Okay. All right. So first up is going to be Larry Phillips. State Rep, Representative Cheshire 5. I hope there's applause at the end. Sit closest to her. So you might see my opponent here, Clint Eastwood. So next to me. There you go. You want to use that to ask the questions and hand it to him. Okay. Well, he gets two minutes first. Oh, yeah. So you get your two minute opening statement starting now. I'd like to talk uh, initially about sort of philosophy and about my uh, my view of politics. Am I doing it right? Well, I'm going to a little bit. Okay. Um, I guess I'm, I'm dismayed by politics in this country because, well, you can see in, in the poll of, of single-digit approval of Congress. I mean, you can see that, that the, the people really do disapprove of the way politics is handled. Uh, take a look at all the money that's being poured in. I mean, uh, in terms of parties, it's all about uh, power. and in, in terms about elections, it's all about winning. And uh, I think it should be all about governing. Uh, and from that perspective, um, I guess I'd like to say that uh, I really don't like to pin a label on myself, uh, whether that's Republican or Democrat or Libertarian or Conservative or Tea Party or Liberal or what, whatever it is, because I think once you pin an identity on yourself, then you have to stand behind it. And everything that you then think has to go along with that. Um, I thought, although I don't agree with a lot of things that they, they uh, did, uh, I thought the Tea Party was good when it first began because it was all about, you know, we really do have to control government, we have to control taxes, we have to control spending, and I agree with that. But then it became a catch-all for every other conservative group out there, uh, every social conservative group, uh, and, and hence I think it lost its credibility. Uh, but I do like the idea of additional parties. I've always supported uh, multiple parties because uh, that's the way to get messages out there. Um, so from from my standpoint it's you know how can you best govern and one you know one thing that, that the uh, sorry it's two minutes. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm so. a politician after all I keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to start the uh, Q&A se section. All right. So 
Oh, okay. Goodness, this is going to be fun. All right. So I'll take that. Okay, so if elected, what will be your highest priority? I guess, I guess the highest priority is to, uh, for me personally, uh, is to ensure health and safety of, of the uh, state. Uh, there's lots of additional priorities around infrastructure for any variety of things, but uh, health and safety issues. I, I would like to make sure that we know that the citizens of, of uh, New Hampshire are cared for. I know there's been dramatic cuts in mental health and addictions and things like that. And whenever we don't support sort of the bottom of the barrel, so to speak, that starts to trickle up and it really affects all of us. So for instance, in terms of healthcare costs, um, I, I support a single payer kind of thing. Um, I certainly support Obamacare, so it could have been done better. But if we don't support people in terms of their health care needs, that's going to affect all of us. It comes out because uh, ER, uh, people go to the ER and then the hospitals have to, to, to uh, absorb that. And if they absorb that, then the insurance companies have to absorb it. If insurance companies absorb it, we all pay for it. So if it would be sort of from the base up, everybody, I think everybody should be guaranteed health care. Uh, that's the one thing that we can give people. And what is your position on voter ID? Uh, in general, I believe, I would like to see an ID card for every citizen. Not the way it's been done this time. This time has been done really to win the elections. And there are quotes from Pennsylvania and there are uh, other quotes along the way that say that's exactly what the Republicans were trying to do, kind of cut out the electorate. Uh, I don't think we should ever do anything to, um, to hold back people from voting. And so I think everybody who wants an ID card should have an ID card. I think the government should make that available to people. If you don't want one, fine. But if you want one, we should make it available to you. What is your position on medical marijuana? I support the legalization of marijuana, period. Um, uh, uh, one thing that, that, that I really uh, like about Gary Johnson, for instance, um, and uh, I think marijuana compared to, if you're going to make a drug illegal, make it alcohol make it tobacco. I mean, they're the drugs that have a much greater effect uh, on, uh, on people in, in this country than, than marijuana. Um, and marijuana is too pervasive. I mean, I don't know if people are going to use it anyhow. Uh, I would rather see uh, a way of taking that money that we're apprehending these people, putting some of them in prison, and using that for prevention kinds of stuff. Uh, ways of trying to get out the message. I don't think marijuana is a safe drug. It is a drug. Uh, it's one of the safer ones when compared to alcohol, for instance, or heroin, whatever. Um, so I, I do think that the best way to go would be to, to simply legalize marijuana, but that has to be done at the federal level. If you do it by state level, you have all this stuff about people coming over the border and you know doing that sort of thing. But, Ultimately, that's what I'd like to see happen. In fact, uh, during the Nixon administration, Nixon had uh, Governor Schaefer of Pennsylvania lead a, um, a committee to assess marijuana, and they came up with the same uh, result that the people in Holland did, and that's that marijuana is not that big a deal and it should be legalized. Well, Nixon ditched that, and the Republicans ditched that. Um, I think, unfortunately, that um, it's going to take a Republican in office, just like the, you know China and Nixon going to China. It's going to take a Republican in office to really make marijuana finally legal. But I'd really rather have it legal and controlled and use that money that's currently used against marijuana in a different sort of way. So that being said, uh, medical marijuana. Uh, I happen to have multiple sclerosis, and one of the things that uh, uh, medical marijuana has been prescribed for uh, for those people uh, who would like to use it to, to 
control pain. Uh, so I could be a recipient of it if it were illegal in, uh, in New Hampshire. Uh, I did smoke marijuana as a, as a young person. I never liked it. Um, uh, because of MS, my head gets foggy anyhow, so I sure don't want to make it any foggier. Uh, so um, I certainly support medical marijuana, and I support the legalization of marijuana. So we're going to open it up to audience questions now. Does anyone in the audience have any questions? Yeah, I think you ought to identify whatever number it was. What, if that's a ward and king, I assume. And I think it might be good if we, if we identify our party. Okay, you can identify your party if you would like, um, so if you want to. Yeah. I'm from Ward 2, and I'm registered as a Democrat. All right, well, he still has about three minutes left. Daryl, you have a question? You mentioned that you would like to see more parties. Uh, do you have a plan for fair ballot access that complies with Article 11 of the New Hampshire State Constitution that says that all citizens have the equal right to be elected? I don't, but I'd like to see it, and I would certainly respond to it. All right, David? Do you support the president? President Obama. So who are you going to support as president? Uh, president Obama. Do you support the military uh, interventions we have going on around Absol the world? Absolutely not. I think we well, should have been out. support the president if you don't support that. That's, that's what the president is doing. That's one issue. And issue. there are issues that I did disagree with the president on, for sure. And that is definitely one of them. I disagreed with going into Iraq. I just, I, I actually agreed with going into uh, to uh, Afghanistan to get Al Qaeda, uh, but uh, to stay there for 12, 14, whatever it's going to be, is is ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, there's a place where I do disagree with Obama. Okay, we have about 45 seconds left, and. Um, okay, so Dave, just to clarify, David did ask um, if, he, if he supported the president and if he supported the military interventions. Okay, so now you have your 90 second um, closing statement. Okay, I don't know how to um, uh, fill the 90 seconds, but uh, uh, I guess I, I hope that, uh, and I'm assuming at this point because of War II and the, the voter registration because my opponent isn't here, uh, that uh, I'll probably be elected. Uh, the one thing that I hope to be able to do is to, I don't want to be a lockstep anything. I want to be, I want to look at all proposals that come out. I want to look at them as objectively as possible, as rationally as possible, and sort them out with my values. Now my values do coincide for the most part with progressive values, for sure. Uh, I am more conservative about fiscal things. Uh, there are things uh, I'm more libertarian about, but you're also liberal in terms of pro-choice, um, pro-gay marriage, things like that. Uh, obviously, pro-marijuana. Um, but I do, I do hope that you know, once these things come out, that I look at them in a measured sort of way, in an objective and rational sort of way, and and not lockstep. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to follow whatever the Democrats tell me to do. I'm going to look at it, measure it, weigh it. And I'll probably not side with the Democrats all the time. Great, thank you.